So you just bought an older home or you're looking to buy an older home and you lift up the corner of that shag carpet and underneath it is beautiful, original hardwood floors. Today I'm gonna to be talking about do you keep them or replace them? So we've all seen it on your favorite renovation show where they lift up the corner of the carpet and underneath it is beautiful hardwood floors like, oh my God, we could save like $3,000 on flooring. I'd be lying if I didn't say that I had the same notion going into buying our previous property. I thought that we'd be able to refinish the hardwood floors and save ourselves a few thousand dollars. But the complete opposite ended up happening. Um, so the home came with floors that were basically in mint shape because for whatever reason back in the 50s people thought it would be cool to put in this oak hardwood floor and then just cover it with shag carpet. No idea why they did that, but for whatever reason, they did. So we thought we'd be able to refinish the floors, save ourselves some money, and reuse them. Uh, so we ended up doing that. We got them resanded. And another quick tip on managing your subtrades: when we got our floors done, they were supposed to do three coats of polyurethane. So the first coat was done, and then um, we were living in the property while we were doing renovations. So our contractor, who was doing the flooring, told us when he did our next, our, uh, our next coat that we had to leave the house because we wouldn't be able to stay over the night because of the fumes. Um, but I started getting a bad vibe based on the questions he was asking. He's like, so where are you guys going to be staying tonight? Like, how far is it? And I was saying to Melissa, like, I don't, I don't know about this guy. I don't, something's up. And she's like, no, he's fine. You're just, I don't know, you're stressing out over nothing. So the next morning I stopped by the house and to my surprise, well, not really, he didn't even do a second coat. So I called him a few hours later when I knew he was going to be on site and asked him how it went. Oh, it went great. Yeah, we put in the second coat. It's looking beautiful today. We're going to do the final coat. And I caught him right there and right in his lies. So always manage your sub trades. Hopefully you're hiring good guys. I thought I was, but hey, it can happen to the best of us. Back onto the topic. The main reason why we couldn't, to make a long story short, the floors looked amazing when they were finished but we were converting a single family home into a legal duplex. And with older homes, structural plank flooring, which is like the original subfloor, is material that's about, I don't know, it can range anywhere from half inch up to an inch thick. And it's usually about uh, three to four inches wide and it's installed on 45s. But there's gaps in between all of that wood. And then they just put the oak hardwood flooring on there and it was nailed down. So there's lots of squeaks. That's one thing that was super annoying, especially when you get up to go to the washroom in the middle of the night, you're tiptoeing around trying to avoid the spots where it squeaks. And also the sound transmission from the unit below upstairs, even with proper drywall, two layers of safe and sound and resilient channeling, we could hear a lot of noise. So our new tenant just moved into the basement and then we ended up having to rip up all of this floor, which cost us three grand to refinish because it was about $3.25 a square foot. So it was just under three grand. So then we ended up having to rip out all the floor, install new 5.8s, tongue and groove, um, OSB, and then install an under pad, laminate, and uh, that definitely helped with the uh, sound dampening between units. And then obviously there's no more issues with a creaky, noisy floor. So even though it may sound good, refinishing original floors and the idea is great but honestly unless you're restoring an older home and you're trying to keep like a historic home or something like that then i can totally understand why you would want to keep the original floors but if you're building and demoing everything and you're building to today's standard like why even bother keeping it just get rid of it it's my opinion i know like when you watch a lot of these tv shows and stuff they say oh you can just salvage them and save yourself some money. You may think that, but I figured I'd share our mistake that we made and hopefully you won't make the same one. All right, I hope this video helped. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button right down there and subscribe to the channel to stay connected. Thanks guys.